Well, the atomic clock is a, a study into the government's plans to reform the electricity market. There also uh, are conclusions in there, which we have been looking at for some time, which are connected with soaring fuel policy and why are bills going up. And we conclude that if we are to secure new nuclear power stations in this country, you don't actually get there by effectively introducing new carbon taxes. You have to set a framework both through regulation and through planning, which will entice uh, construction both of, of all companies, that's EDF, that's EON, and that's Horizon, to build new nuclear power stations as a result of a guaranteed price of electricity, which is going to be the case. But does a carbon price floor incentivise new nuclear? Evidence will show it does not. We're also concerned about plans to close and a large number of our uh, power stations in 2015, due, due to EU rules, um, we lose um, 8,000 megawatts of coal, we lose 3,000 megawatts of oil, we lose 5,000 megawatts of older nuclear plant. A lot of this is coming offline at the worst possible time. Our concern would be to fill that with yet more gas-fired power stations, which is what's happening, is a mistake for the long term, as we will then be subject to a volatile gas price this year alone, wholesale gas prices have risen by 40%. We don't want to go further down the line of having the electricity price too closely tied to that gas price.